Hello Art Nerds, how are you? My name is Stephen Quick and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is actually a video that's been requested, I'm actually I'm listening, that's rare, on how I cut my stencils. So I thought what I'd do is put together this video of cutting a raven and spraying a raven. This is not a tutorial or how to, this is a do it with me. First off, if you look down below in the description somewhere, there is a link to a Dropbox box where you can download the two templates for the stencils I'm using which is the base stencil which is the shape of the raven and this first stencil which is the highlights which makes up the feathers. So download them and you can create and cut um, along with me. Once you download that onto your computer you need to get that onto a piece of card. Now that is a bit more technical than it sounds. There are very 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 many ways you can do this so do whichever is easiest for you. You can print it out on A4 card. If you're rich and you've got an A3 printer, print it on A3 card. The most common way is you break up the picture uh, on Photoshop or whatever, GIMP, into A4 sections. So just make an A4 template, cut out of the main one, print them all out and then stick them together. This is the way most people do it. You can project it if you've got a projector. OHP if you've got an OHP projector. You can use carbon paper if you've got a carbon paper. You can trace it if you're using acetate instead of card. You can freehand it if you're really, really good at drawing. You can grid it, which is a very, very good way of doing it. So grid up the A4, grid up your A1 or A2, and then draw it across. That's a really good way and a way I do an awful lot. Uh, the card you want is around 230 GMS to 300. Keep it in that vicinity. You can get special stencil card, but don't bother buying that, it's really expensive. Then you need a blade. Uh, I use a scalpel, the Swan Morton. I've got three versions, the uh, acrylic handle, the round handle, flat handle. Uh, blades I use, can you see that? Ooh, can you see that? You can't see that, because I've got a lock focus. Uh, the blades I use are the uh, ones that are at a slant, uh, not the rounded ones. You need a good, a good point on it. So now we go into cutting and you can just cut along with me. I've done a voiceover to say what I'm doing. Unfortunately, it's a bit echoey. I don't really know why that's happened, but um, let's cut together in a non-dark way. As you can see, here it is. I'm just drawing the serrated edges of the uh, raven. Uh, just with a pen just so I can get the feathers really defined and then I'm just cutting out all of the body. Um, as you can see I'm leaving little connecting lines. This is just so when you put the stencil on the wall it doesn't collapse on itself. Uh, I'm leaving the connecting lines near the weaker points which are the tail feathers and the feet but you can leave these connecting lines wherever you want really. Uh, when it comes to spraying it uh, you'll just fill those lines in with uh, your spray can and it'll just be a solid base of black. Now on to the uh, main feature. Uh, I'm filling in uh, the detail. I've got the print out there as you can see and just adding the detail of where I want all these feathers or these lines or these highlights. This is the highlights. These are all white. Um, use these lines as a basis. Don't use these marks that you make as a definite. Draw with the blade. If you feel like it needs extra, draw with the blade. Draw that hole. Draw that gap. Don't um, go overboard but all you're doing here is as long as you've got the main base cuts that are making up the shape it doesn't matter if you showboat around the outside a bit it makes it look nice it's like when you draw an eye you can put a few eyelashes on but then you can add a few more it doesn't matter it just adds to it think of that when you're doing this just cut 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 and make it all look pretty now I'm cutting in kind of a swooping motion it kind of looks like a leaf you can cut however you want if you want to cut zigzaggy if you want to cut uh, sharply like a square do do whatever you want it just gives it your own style the feet, if you could see them for my uh, great big fat head, <laughs> um, are a bit more technical. They're a bit more structured. So you need to keep the structure of the foot when you're cutting this. Cut, keep the structure of the curve uh, because that is what gives the foot the um, round shape. Uh, you can show better around the outside, but make sure you get the structure here. You can't see a thing. My head is so big. I'm very sorry. Um, and then we're going up to the head. You've got that massive lump of uh, white at the top of the head which is where the sun is hitting the top of the bird's head. Uh, as you can see I'm cutting this lump into lots of little bits and leaving attachments. You need to leave this little island you call them. So an island where the left and the right or the up and the down still attach to each other. Otherwise if you leave massive massive islands you'll either be too floppy to spray or to hold or it'll just collapse on itself. Everything needs to be in its own little island. Um, and that's what I'm doing here on the top of the head and in the beak. 
uh, and you can see I'm cutting at a curve again here cut whatever you feel like make make it make it like your drawings if you like cross hatching cross hatch it so uh, there is the finished stencil all ready to spray and you need spray paint. Uh, any spray paint is kind of fine. Uh, the stuff from hobby shops and the stuff from uh, DIY shops is not great. It's a bit tacky and a bit weird. So try to get yourself some art spray paint. What I use the most are Belton, Molotto and MTN94. This stuff smells nice. Get yourself a black and a white and go ahead and spray. hope you enjoyed that video and I hope this helped you in some way. Uh, good luck with cutting the raven. If you do these cuts, please send me photographs of you making the stencils, photographs of you spraying the stencils, photographs of how it went and let me see it. Send that to me at Twitter, uh, which is Stephen Quick Art, or send it to me at Instagram, which is Splintered Studios. Uh, good luck, uh, enjoy and um, spray away. Did I say spray away twice in the same video? I may have done. Subscribe.